The female protagonist of the Grand Theft Auto 6 game we see in the opening 10 seconds has a name given to her of Lucia. At points of the trailer, the characters of Grand Theft Auto VI have a realisticness to them. However, there are points where the characters can clearly be seen as designed by computers. They are still a step above that of Grand Theft Auto 5. The Grand Theft Auto 6 City graphics look as smooth as ever along with the Grand Theft Auto 6 nature graphics of the marshes with flamingos look beautiful as seen in these images from the trailer. The only problem I can pick out is the clouds look fake and computer generated. However, just look at this beauty. We talked about the name of the main female protagonist of the Grand Theft Auto VI game trailer. Now let us talk about the Grand Theft Auto 6 Bonnie and Clyde story mode hinted at in the trailer. Well, there is a female main character, there looks to be like a male main character in this game also, as stated before, a seemingly Bonnie and Clyde like duo. I hope however that Rockstar is staying away from the message of the left wing agenda as it is seemingly out to make the female protagonist more the head of this game leading and peering over the man and the man behind the woman breaking into a shop. Hopefully this does not degrade men and lead people to hate the Grand Theft Auto franchise like what has happened with Disney and the Doctor Who franchises. The thing with the Grand Theft Auto 6 game, what you have is the Grand Theft Auto game online mode which I myself would end up playing predominantly so we can evade any possibility of the Grand Theft Auto 6 game story mode if they were to try and force a political agenda on the players. Now since we have seen a game in the past called Grand Theft Auto Vice City, we have here what looks like a trip down memory lane to Vice City. However, is the city going to be the same size? Is the city going to be exactly the same or will it have parts of the old place in the new Grand Theft Auto 6 game map? I am wondering however what I think many may have missed in this trailer is how Rockstar will use the in-game social media like TikTok livestream in which they hint to in these images or if it is simply just something they added as a nod to the game streamers in respect to them for the amount of streaming of GTA 5. It seems to me as if it is a bigger part of the game, like in the clip with the woman with the tattoos, there is a logo at the bottom right corner of the screen like YouTubers have. And then we go on to this next clip of what looks to be like a TikToker called Lucha Libre Fan who is live streaming an old lady. The new GTA 6 game release date is said to be set for 2025 as seen in this image from the new Grand Theft Auto 6 game trailer release. I give this an 8 out of 10, while it looks better than GTA 5 in its aesthetics, it still has some points of clear computer generated imagery. Subscribe to Gamer Inc, the YouTube channel for reviews, story mode gameplay, live streaming gaming and much much more. When you have subscribed please select all notifications when pressing the notification bell, strike the like and share our content to help our community grow and why not leave your views on the trailer in our comment section below as well.